Hi, I'm Pat Khan, and this is part of my Let's Play series for Fallout 4. I don't think I've showed off uh, my the work that I've done here at Crew Manor before. So you'll see I've repaired the walls, trying to make the place a little bit less crafty because it's on the edge of an ocean. Working my way through, getting the doors fixed, getting, again, I don't use any mobs for any of this. So we have a door out here. I might choose to do something with the outside of the out here. Uh, that's another area where we can kind of dig nothing more. And uh, I prepared holes in the floor. I made this into a kind of like an entertainment center. And made a room out here, which I haven't figured out what to do with yet. And here's a bedroom. So yeah, things are, are going pretty well here. And uh, so I have a few different quests that I'm going to do. Um, so I'm first going to do Rogue Robot by the Reeve Marina. But yeah, this is kind of a miscellaneous small stuff. Uh, so we're still traveling with Kiri. Basically, just wrap up the quest in Nuka World. Because we've, uh, off camera, I've used the Cappy glasses to fully explore um, the park and get all of the hidden uh, Cappy markers. And so now we're going to go see what that uh, gives us. Which is basically. I wanted to show it to you guys in case you haven't done it, because it is truly an annoying quest. Like uh, like with the Star Cores, they've tweaked the game so that if you get within 40 feet of wh uh, what you're looking for... Here's hoping they didn't hide the cappies too well! Then, I found uh, all the of the hidden cappies. Uh, cuts out. Each one had a letter. Great! Let me take a look at these letters. Well, anyone who stared... It's... Well, damn. I was sure the letter spelled fresh gin. Nice try, but you'd be one G short. This door should lead to Brad Burton's. I guess we just need to key in the. T you did all the work. Okay. So she suggests that we use this keypad to go into this house that's presumably been sealed unlocked. for a really long time. Let's go inside. Now, it seems a little unlikely because you could just smash through that wood there. Right, let's do it. Let's sir. And I think that this is kind of an interesting Boy quest. Love would be hidden so and it poses some interesting no more No would leave it out in the open. Lots of doors. Maintained bathroom. But things haven't been hit too hard. This is like walking through history. And yeah, presumably it's just time that's hit this place. No rating. about a private sanctuary. Oh, 
elevator open. Well, that's kind of interesting. Thing you have, but it's hard to believe I'm really here. And that's kind of cute. Looks like there's a cartoon. I didn't search know carefully. A what we're looking for might not be easy to find. Okay, so we are looking for something. Apparently, there is an elevator behind this bookshelf. Wish I could have been here before the war. You know, just to so see what it was like. It, but doesn't seem to be simple. How do we get there? Oh, wait there. There we go. Mr. Bradburton, you are one sneaky devil. And we can see what looks like a ball. past this door. Wow, what is this place? Let's take a closer look. And so there must, at one point, there must be tunnels beneath here, long since sealed. And yeah, this looks pretty much like a standard vault deck ins installation. Except with some Nuka World stuff in it. And up we go. Fan, normal vault tech stuff. Cameras are always nice stuff. Nuka Cola Victory. Yep. Just in general, some pretty good loot that you, ge uh, you generally should be happy with. Because it's not that it's the rarest stuff in the world. But in aggregate, it's hard to, uh, to get lots of it. Come on! What on earth? A museum. Kind of. No! It can't be! That's John Caleb Bradburton! Or at least it's his head. Wow! Who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god! It's a lot! And here we can get some details about how his company acquired a bunch of other companies. And we see some notes about something called a Project Cobalt. Which I'm not going to do that slowly enough for My you to see. Here, sir. I'm your uh, biggest admirer. I love Nuka Cola more than anything. This is such an honor. You there, with the pit boy. What are you doing here? We used the I made a devil's bargain. Though I didn't this was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In ex huh. Yes, make your jokes. But I've still a a, a weapon? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand. It was going to be a quantum enhanced variant. In fact, the prototype What? No. Yeah. If our place is... Then I trust you will honor my... You can't kill him! Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone. And I realize that when the power is cut... Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Bradburton wants... Well, maybe I could stay with him. That's not happening. I know, I know, but... I've got a limited edition Nuka. It's one of my most treasured. A Nuka Cola jumpsuit. I sort of feel sorry for him. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. Free at last. So the reason that I would do this wouldn't be for the reward, but to end somebody's torment. Sierra. I can't believe someone as smart as Mr. Bradburton would be fooled into thinking you could live forever. I guess he was terrified of growing old. Maybe you did the right thing. I don't know. I feel so conflicted about all of this. Yeah, I just the idea of forcing somebody to live forever 
it seems completely unfair. And there's no way I would leave somebody in that situation. Excellent. This is something the father troubles, yes? Of course, having the goodies doesn't hurt, but hey. it's not why I would do this. Oh, uh, apparently... You need something from me? Way too much stuff. You wanted the Nuka-Cola formula? Here it is. So it really was here. I'm grateful. I don't think this means I've forgiven you. You killed the man. Who the hell are you? He made a choice, and I... It's just that... Mm -hmm. To get an opportunity, still... I'll never forget that. Now that you've got the... I'm not a chemist. If that fails, well, here. I know it. I think I'll... By the time I'm... Okay. So, that's what we did. This is kind of a neat car. You don't see that model in the post-war world. But yeah, I, I think we've done the right thing here. I, I think that people should have the ability Going uh, to end their life. And I think that people generally should, if they lack the, uh, if they lack the ability but have the desire, I believe that it is ethical, and in fact preferable, strongly preferable, to assist them. Not mandatory, but but just something that would uh, that's a good thing to do. And if people are not ethically comfortable with doing that, then that's also fine. But generally in the case where they want that, I would like to believe that I would help uh, help somebody in that situation. I'm not sure not sure that I actually could bring myself to do it. But I think that it would be the right thing to do. So there's that quest. The nice thing about having done this quest is that it means that we can drop the cappy glasses. Which is pretty good. Unfortunately, somewhere in a previous video, I treat, I uh, put my uh, took off my road goggles, which boost intelligence. Traded them for these cappy goggles, and I don't know what I did. Uh, I don't know what I did with them, which is pretty annoying, because having that extra intelligence boost would be nice. You'll see that I got a Gauss rifle. I bought it in the uh, Nuka World, uh, in the Nuka World market. And I have a reason for doing this. I also grabbed a Freezing Advance 44 pistol out. Um, I think something else I wanted to drop here. I'm well over my weight limit. Oh. Hey. Hey, 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 you need hey. some. Okay, so we'll take it. Yes? Leave human junk. Is useless. All the junk. We definitely want to get our weight down here. Ideally further, but I'm not sure we can really get it down further at the moment. It would be nice to be able to drop that silver shroud armor. But that's another thing which we can't do without doing the quest. So that's going to be our next objective. Got our weight down a little bit. Not as much as we'd like. But I think enough. So next thing we're gonna do is do the silver shroud uh, quest line. So to do this, we return to Good Neighbor. And we're going to listen to the radio. And if we happen to, to find uh, somebody selling road goggles along the way will oh, definitely can we see the old state house? pick them up. Maybe they have the tourist brochure. Means a lot to me that you made the libraries. Mm hmm. I've got a few minutes. Everything's guaranteed to last. Until it doesn't. 
So, do you have wraparound goggles? No, you do not. You probably don't. Cleo. Every weapon you see here could be the difference. I've got a few minutes to browse. Let's get you. Welding goggles? Nope, we're looking for... Uh, but what was it again? It is road goggles. And you don't have road goggles. Okay. So actually, one of the things I forgot, uh, we can't raise Curie's uh, hey, affinity with us want? up above a certain level. So we are going to... I need to ask you something. Is now a better time to converse? I have some time. I have spent much and myself mm -hmm. the inescapable. I'm sure... You are polite. The great uh -huh. they have... If there's a way you can do that... In fact, if I am to, I must become... I'm willing to help, Curie. And you say, if you find... Mm hmm Oh, okay. Well, maybe we'll just do her quest. I heard you off that freedom trade. And I believe that that is in... the den here. Very precise work to do. What do you want? Dr. Amari? Don't bother asking me how the memory loungers work. I don't have time to teach the years of neurophysiology it would take you to understand. I'm a bit busy. What is it? Before you ask, I wasn't responsible well, for the decor, can't do this so right. I don't want to hear it. Heads up! Me, have you found someone that can help me become human? I think we ought to... As you wish. Okay, so we're going to send her back to the Red Rocket truck stop. And we're going to go swap our companions to, I believe, Hancock. Because we can't raise her affinity any further. And it's not particularly useful to travel with companions when they're stuck in that state. So we're not there. But possibly here. Hancock is one of my favorite, favorite companions. He's just a real hoot. <clears throat> I was out by the Cambridge ruins yesterday. Heard this weird distress call. Somebody's in a pickle. What, we pals now? Gotta shoot the breeze? Mayor Hancock. Well, if it ain't Bobby's little patsy. Here. For protecting my wise decision, put Bobby tricked him. Yeah. Let me uh -huh. spend all my time. I need that. Uh huh. If you're heading out. Yeah. I like. Let me just have a little. Okay. So Hancock is very easy to convince to go with you. Very, very easy to convince. Everybody, gather up. I got something you all need to hear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Babble, babble, babble. No rush. Everyone just take your time. Look, everyone, I'm taking a walk. It's time for your fearless leader to get back out there. Mix it up in the dirt before I forget what that feels like. You can't leave, Hancock. We need you. Hey, I'm always going to be here in spirit. Hancock. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Let's do it. Done. Okay, so we now have Hancock as our companion. And we're going to listen to the Silver Shroud radio. Home sweet home. Okay. 
So I have turned off the radio because I don't want you to know who kicked copy, the ghouls out concerns. of But if you had the radio on, and you probably would be. Diamond City, right? That Aloha, Maya McDonough. Wait, so I'm wearing the, the Silver Shroud outfit, which looks fantastic, but unfortunately it takes up all your armor slots. What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with... <laughs> for the taking okay so there's that one criminal down and we'll mark that on our map and we're gonna still listen to the silver shroud right that here. a silver shroud costume Hey, uh, no judgments, but ain't that a kid's show? Okay, well, while we wait for the radio to play the new chunk of information, we'll pop in here and see I just clean up around here. if we can handle an uh, outstanding thing. <coughs> what? No, it can't. Wait, are you... I am for you. Uh-huh. Well, you kill enough people. Sooner or later, something's bound to make you immortal. Oh, oh, that... After the bombs fell and I came to, that bucket of... Yep, I must have said... You know... Oh, God. Hey, you know... Really? You... Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, so basically here we had the option of suggesting to him. Stan, why don't you go home? Maybe take some time with that girl you've been Oh man, some what's her name? Suggesting that uh, he he go and uh, go to Good Neighbor and or I'm sorry, go to uh, Sanctuary. And that you'll go and visit him. Which is pretty Holy nice. moly! The silver shroud in the flesh. Oh no! <clears throat> hey, look at the clown. This is my turf clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Peddling poison to kid. Uh, <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. Stop selling to children, miscreant, or face my wrath! We're shutting your ass down. Screw you. Waste the freak. I just love the hand. Probably about right. 
Oh, right. And we're going to leave the calling card. Which actually sounds a lot more Where like something a villain would do. So. Ever been to kill or be killed? Some fine looking weapons. Well, we're all paying for it now. Down another gun. Everyone's gonna have to step up next time we get attacked. Okay, so next we are to go and chat with White Chapel, White Chapel Charlie. Maybe I should have turned on the radio for this section. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. And White Chapel Smell Charlie that? turned out to be a synth. Charlie. Make way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers. Uh -huh. You look upon the Silver Shroud. I seek a myth. Shroud? More like nothing. Kendra is not one to be. If you're set on meeting her. Uh -huh. It is not why. <laughs> Justice. Look out for the blight. Okay, so. We are asked to go and take care of a problem gangster by the name of Kendra. Now, Kendra is, is a fairly rare name. I'm not sure what ethnicity it's from or what culture it's from. I've only known one Kendra in my life. And I think she... I don't quite remember. So Kendra is outside, but nearby. So we will pop out and see if we can find her, with the help of our handy dandy quest markers. again, Kendra was, uh, okay, move it around into the set. What? Who's there? That was just a ridiculous amount of health to lose. Suppose if you're absolutely convinced that you're the toughest in the area, then maybe Who? this would be fun. But it's not a gamble I would. What the fuck was that? Girl, you the wrong fucking You know yourself pretty well, sister. Can't we can feel it. See how much we can skip by just taking the elevator up. 
be a lot. Maybe not. Third floor. Apparently. You hear some? There you are. Apparently, this is not the right thing. On the other hand, this is a elevator, and I am always happy to have a chance to get new weapons that I might need to use. Okay, so back in we go. What? Uh, Hancock? Hancock. Uh, what are you... Whoa. Did Hancock die? Going down. I hope Hancock didn't just die. Uh, that looks weird. Very unfortunate. Ground floor. Hancock. Whoa. Well, again, Fallout is a fairly buggy game. I hope that we didn't just lose him. I guess we'll find out as we go on, nice. based on whether he rejoined us. Don't think about it. Stay calm. Was your fault? Heads up. What you got? Oh, uh, that's weird. Very weird. Silver Shroud outfit. You must be Kendra. And you, you're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who. I do so. Uh -huh. You have taken your. You stole my life. <laughs> Share some words. Uh, Tancock, where are you? Okay, apparently he wants to talk. I hope it's a good kind of talk and not a bad kind of talk. Don't really need the cappy glasses still on. the right stuff. Yeah, we weren't wearing the, the lucky thing. We were wearing the other one. Look alive. Shoot. Hey, Hancock. Dropping bad guys, leaving business. Those lowlifes you've been taking. Sure. That asshole's going. Uh-huh. Thanks for the warning. You know, it would be a sh His name's Sinjin. I happen to know and nor these guys. You take them out. Good neighbor, mm Hmm. I'm up for some. You know you're all. Okay. Well, I wish that he were not lying on the ground continually, but. <coughs> but apparently Hancock likes that we're doing this quest line, and he has some information for us. Okay. So we actually crashed there, but I will paste this video up to the next one. And let's remind ourselves, what were we doing? We were dealing with the Silver Shroud quest. Let's turn off some of these other quests. Just to make it a little bit easier to focus on what we're trying to do. Okay, so there's somebody by Bunker Hill. Somebody up there. And somebody way down here? Oh, uh, okay. That's, that's a different minor quest that we will ignore for now. So let's fast travel to Bunker Hill.
suspect that the game crashed because of that same issue that uh, caused um, Hancock. Heard Bunker Hill pays off the raid if someone put in a whole lot of effort to keep out the riffraff. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So for this, we're gonna change back into. Here oh, we well, are. Maybe. Let's give Hancock hey. some of our stuff. Stuff that we're not uh, gonna wear. So there's that and that. That'll just make it a, a lot quicker to switch in and out of our. Uh, oh, can get from that too. In and out of our uh, silver shroud. I take request. Okay, silver shroud. Best. Oh, sweet. Here we are. And so let's pull it up. And seal up. Do we just have the best little chew toy to sink our teeth? Wow, weird face makeup. <coughs> Mm, if it isn't the girl behind the costume. You've been really naughty, Mrs. Shroud. Making all my friends so taking out sin, but now we <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go uh, climb the building just to wipe out some uh, some super mutants. So let's keep walking. Away. No reason for us to be there. And we'll go to the next request. Oop, except there are enemies nearby. What was that? Nearby enough to prevent us from fast traveling. Okay. I wonder if we're good now. I think so. So Northy is near the Consumer Electronics place. <coughs> yeah, definitely creepy little scorpion things. Northy is somewhere over there. So, off we go. Oh, we've been here before. I think we might have even cleared out some of the raiders that show up here. You can see some stuff going on there. Looks like there's some combat going on. I'm not quite sure there's some raiders. It's possible that Northy is marked as hostile to those raiders. Maybe. Okay, so bodyguards. A lot of bodyguards. And then there's a person back in the back there. Well, let's see if we can reach out and touch someone. That's one gun. We just our hand there. Two. Three. And that 
that one is being a little bit more clever. Whoops, not good enough. Okay. Well, we've done a little bit with the frontal uh, go. Let's see if we can now slip in Only from the side. Only a fucking coward hides. It is not openable. Don't try to get out of that! Why? Why? God, please, why? <laughs> and that is Northy. And we can Scared. move. Scared. Just like a little bitch. Payback time, boogeyman! Come out here, so ah! you. All right, so that worked out pretty well. Yeah, so there's that. Next thing to do. Uh, oh, who's asking us to clear this this yard? Somebody must have asked us to clear the training yard. Let's do a quick dash through that. I don't quite remember what we're doing there. But somebody... Well, it'll hopefully become clear after I dash through. So, if you don't want to be shot up and want to destroy the turret, Sneak at least until you're directly underneath, and then you can just dash through the door. Okay, so there. This is definitely not going to be a smell of the, the roses kind of thing. I must have gone through here already for some uh, other reason. It eventually, it ends up being a little bit complicated uh, keeping your character straight. Did we not need to do this? Maybe we didn't need to do this. It just says to, to clear the train, right? I'm not sure if we have to do that. Oh, that's what that was. That was um, a, a quest here 
given to you by one of the traders who you then later on get a, another quest uh, from from here and that'll let you place trading stations in your settlements which I find to be kind of useful it, it's just kind of nice when the standard traders will come and visit uh, our Looks free like settlements they've dug in deep here so to turn this one in look I'm trying to relax but I'm a little more high. There it is. Okay. Hi, how are you? Hey, you. Talk I cleared the training yard of Feral's. Son. Finally, someone that can get You know, Kessler's been looking for Before fun. you go, though, I was hoping you could spend some... I've got a few minutes to browse. You may have to dig a little. Okay, well, d did I give everything... Yeah. Okay. I don't have anything on me that I really particularly want to sell. I guess I can sell some of the meat. And there Fine place to Kessler. sleep, right here. Hey, Kessler. Hey, so Deb's been talking you up. Says you get results. I got a sensitive job that needs someone with skill. That sound like you? I'm all that. Fantastic. Our town worked, mm -hmm. but Zeller's army is... But I found out... Mm -hmm. Consider Zeller. These guys are dangerous. Mm -hmm. If there are survivors, rescue them. Sure. But above all, hey, let me take a look at you. See where it hurt. <clears throat> you better let me have a look at you. Not many doctors out there. Yeah. Okay. Let's take let's a look at who over your symptoms. Think I soaked up some rats. Whoops. Okay. Need a roof over your head? Only place in town. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? Okay. There we go. So we got another quest. They probably should have just made that a normal quest. And we're going to go and find Kent. So we returned a good neighbor. But then unfortunately we're going to find that something has gone really wrong. With uh, with Kent, and he is not around. Hey. So ordinarily, Kent would be in the memory den. It's you. Oh, Shook. What happened to K? They, they took when they took him away. Okay, so we have to listen to the Silver Shroud Station, which is already on. But unfortunately, so what we're missing here, it's a message from Sinjin and Kent saying where he is. And to uh, basically, there, there's an attempt to force a showdown. So we're gonna go and give them that showdown uh, somewhere near the West Boxbury Station. Let's camp an interesting looking doohickey. I believe that it's part of What's that? Uh oh. That's not good. Oh. Here if I can move it far enough. This is one of the worst fast travel spots in the entire game. Because it drops you right where something? Let's do this. Drops you right in the middle of a whole bunch of super Here is... 
should have just run. This is where we want to be, up ahead. Now, unfortunately, this is both a glitchy quest and a very difficult one to get uh, all the results that you want from it. I'm going to do my best, but it is quite hard. So, in we go. I believe that what you have to do to do well in this quest is to just really hurry. You do not want to take your time. This is just the waiting room. Is that the line? And you don't want to spend too much time looting or anything like that. Just go, go, go. Okay, so. Oh, that led around to the other. Okay, whatever. Let's keep moving. We're gonna make pretty heavy uh, use of the shotgun here. Ah! One ah! Get <laughs> sure, if this is what we want. No, Let's find out. What's the right direction? Hey. Hey. This is the way. Okay, and this, you're about to see why. I went with this particular weapon. Drop! Alright, so here we go. Let's get our weapon ready. And get ready to go say hi to Sinjin. Say it again. Hold, assholes. Anyone turns heel, I'm coming for you and your family. And you, Shroud. You step any closer, and we... Uh -huh. You shield yourself. Don't talk to me like that. Some of these losers think right? we're you and I know. You're human. Mm -hmm. I have cut a path through all your thugs. Who can... Don't listen, man. She's a phony. 
So what's gonna happen is this. I'm going to kill Kent. Then we're gonna shoot the hell out of you. Nothing's gonna be left but paste. Then I'm going to good neighbor and kill every yeah, last worthless bastard threat. there and burn the whole thing down. No one screws with Sinjin. I am the instrument of justice. Stop talking like that! It is the Shroud, it really is! Screw this! Come. Okay, so... So what we've done here... ...is... ...is successfully frozen him, but stops him from actually being particularly... ...dangerous, and then we can just take him out. And so this leaves us with a living Kent. Kent. I've never been so happy to see anyone in my entire life. That was close. I thought I was done. I just give up. If you just quit... You... Uh -huh. Going back to good name. Okay. So we did it. We successfully saved Kent. Now, it's... It is possible, but incredibly difficult to make your way uh, to do that without... Uh, to do that without using a freezing weapon. So this guy... Hi. I never wanted to work for Sinjin. So they all kind of disclaim him. Fine. And just left over there. You're gonna disclaim him? Excuse me. I never wanted to work for Sinjin. Yep, okay, well, Sinjin's gone. We can just leave. Going up. We have to wind our way back down through to find our way back to uh, Hancock, but he's not too far off. He's just kind of trying to figure out how to get to us. Hey, what you got? Job's done. Sinjin's dead. So down goes the big hey. bad Sinjin. We get to walk that tightrope of freedom one more day. Take this for the effort. The world's better without him. And the future looks a little brighter. Gutter's been running a little. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's it. Hey. I take requests. So that's that's Sinjin, and that's Kent, and that's what we want to do. And it went pretty well. So as I was saying, there are a few other ways to play that off. If you just have to have a gun that is so overwhelmingly possible that you can one-shot him, or something that will stagger him, that can work. Otherwise, you're going to face a really tough time taking them out before, uh, without him wiping out some oh yeah, So let's take this level. For this, we'll take the second level of Cap Collector, so that we can have even better... Uh, shops in our settlements. Uh, but yeah, you can do it with overwhelming force. You can do it with a freezing weapon. Uh, you, m there, there are staggering weapons you might use. There are other taunt dialogues that are a little bit less fun that are, are other ways to uh, wipe out Sinjin without losing Kent. Most of the time, you probably will lose Kent. In fact, it's almost to the point of being an Easter egg that you can manage to Heads save up. Them. Mm -hmm. But as you see, as you saw, it is possible. You definitely want to be angling to do it the first time. You kind of have to know what you're doing. Smell that? That's free. Hey, Cleo. Every weapon you see here could be the... Uh -huh. I'll take a look. Sure. Let's get you up. Uh -huh. So at this point, we no longer really need to have um, that freezing weapon. There aren't too many later parts of the game where I find it particularly important uh, 
to be able to freeze your photos. It's kind of handy all the time. But again, in order to freeze, you need to have a crit saved up. And usually you're not going to have a crit saved up. Uh, let's see. Ammo, 308s. These cartridges are quite nice. Yeah, you, you don't want to run out of ammo on that weapon because it's a big heavy weapon. And you'll just feel pretty daft. But there's not a lot you can do with it. Let's head back to Red Rocket for now. Now later on, you can return to Good Neighbor, and you'll get an option from Kent to upgrade the Silver Shroud outfit. But for now, I'm just going to drop it off here because it's heavy, and I've loaded it for most of the game. And there's just no particular reason why. Off the lucky combat armor for now. Yeah, left arm. We're getting a strength and endurance that's probably more important than luck. Yeah, so we can finally drop those things. And this nicely reduces our, our weight. <coughs> yeah, so uh, today went well. And uh, that'll be all for this video. I will see you in a future one.